turning to tragedy in the Dominican Republic as the number of Americans who have mysteriously died there is now rising to at least eight. The latest a New York mom, Leela Cox, went to the Dominican Republic to celebrate her 53rd birthday, but she never returned home, officials saying she died of a heart attack. Her son now searching for answers, but says officials are telling him all the country's toxicology machines are broken. Here with more is her son, Will Cox, who joins us live via Skype. Will, thank you so much for being here. First of all, my sincere condolences to you for the loss of your mother. This is a horrific, horrific tragedy. Do you have any insight as to what happened to her here on this vacation? No, I do not have any insight. Um, everything they've told me so far has um, changed on almost a daily basis. I'm still waiting for more information um, come Monday. Hopefully, um, with further analysis of the autopsy report, we might be able to get some more information. But they told me it could take up to a month to two months to do that. Now, the, the, the claim is that she had a heart attack. That's what the report said. Did she have a heart condition? Did she go into this vacation with any health condition that you knew of? No. Um, everybody who knew her, her family in New York, her family down in Knoxville, um, all knew she was in good health. She had no prior heart conditions, no prior health conditions. Um, she worked in a hospital. She would get mm -hmm. checkups all the time. She had no health conditions. Um, Everyone who knew her knew this. Now, you wanted a toxicology report, Don, and they told you that all of their machines that would conduct these toxicology reports in the Dominican Republic are broken. That sounds like a really odd explanation to me. That would certainly not sit well with me if I were trying to figure out what happened to my mother. Um, what, what, how, how did you find out that information, and, and where did that lead you? What was your next step after that? Well, my next step, well, that is correct. Um, they told me all the toxicology machines were broken. Um, I found that out from the U.S. Embassy. Uh, Ms. Garcia told me that. She said all the toxicology machines are broken, and we do not know when we will get them fixed. Um, I was already suspicious beforehand, but that all but confirmed my suspicions that something is not right here. I mean, how can a whole country's toxicology machines be broken? And from there, um, basically, Without some sort of miracle, I cannot do my own U.S. autopsy or my own U.S. toxicology. Mm -hmm. So as of right now, I can just hope for the best. Um, I requested a tube of her blood be sent along with her remains, and that is yet to be answered for me. I, I've been talking to the U.S. Embassy, and they said they should get back to me on Monday. Mm -hmm. They couldn't reach the doctor because he left the office on Friday. Yeah. Now, you were suspicious for other reasons related to your mother's body and the way that whole conversation went about. Tell us about that. Well, by the time I found out, um, my father got a phone call at 3 p.m. The U.S. Embassy closed at 4 p.m. So by the time I personally found out, you know, I have the power of attorney. I'm her only son. Um, under Dominican Republic law, I only had 24 hours to proceed with the process, decide what to do with the body, and go ahead and, and, you know, cremate the body or embalm it. Um, so I, I made a few phone calls, and thanks to um, people more powerful than me, helped and, you know, talked to the Dominican Republic government, and they extended that deadline until Monday. Mm, wow, 24 hours. We have a statement so, from the uh, we have. Oh, I want to read this for you from the Excellence Putacana. Yeah. They have released a statement saying, we received a forensics report stating that the cause of death was a heart attack and has been ruled as a natural death. We will strive to continue to provide outstanding service to our customers with their safety and security top of mind. When you see that statement, what's your reaction? I mean, I just hope that they're, they're honest about it. That's the best I can hope for. I mean, it, it's an all-exclusive resort. You know, you pay for a hotel room, you pay for, you know, everything's included. Food, drinks, anything you want. Mm -hmm. But if they can't guarantee the safety of their customers, I think that's their biggest concern. And I hope they get to the bottom of this, because I don't want another U.S. citizen to pass away, and an innocent U.S. citizen to pass mm -hmm. away and somebody to face what I'm going through currently.
Yeah, and I know I know your goal is is to try to get your mom's body back to the United States, uh, if possible, to get that toxicology report. My hope for you is that you get answers. There's nothing worse than suffering a horrific family tragedy like that and not having answers as to as to what happened and, and to what happened to your mom. So um, you are in Absolutely. our thoughts and prayers that you get your answers. And uh, once again, Absolutely. I'm so sorry for you for such for suffering thank this you. terrible tragedy. Thank you for being here thank and sharing you, your thank story. Thank you so much.